What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Coke Guy, to come at y'all with another video. In this video, we had to, I gotta bounce back real quick to the Big Ten. This video is gonna be about Nebraska. Special request from, I'm guessing, a Nebraska fan. <clears throat> and I also figured, you know, <clears throat> I did three teams from the East. Why not do at least two from the West? So, <clears throat> this is gonna be my predictions for Nebraska season. Before we start, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's ride. All right, last season, Nebraska finished 4-8. and eight. They won four of their last six of the regular season. They start after starting out 0-6. But that shouldn't be a concern for Nebraska fans. Scott Frost in his first year at UCF went winless. And then bounced back and started having undefeated seasons and shit, knocking off SEC teams in bowl games. Scott Frost is a great coach. Definitely on the offensive end. He's got Adrian Martinez, which is going to be a big, big piece for them this season. <clears throat> nah, they don't really have defense. A lot of question marks around the offense besides Adrian Martinez. But Scott Frost is going to figure something out and make it happen. Now, a lot of people got Nebraska being a contender to win the West. I don't know if I go that far, but besides Wisconsin, yeah, Nebraska's probably about the only one who could have a real shot. Starting off the season, <clears throat> they're at the house against South Alabama. They'll definitely win that game. Then they go to Colorado. <clears throat> I got them winning this game. It'll probably be a shootout. Colorado don't have no defense. No Tucker's their new coach. He'll end up getting a defense there, but at the moment, they don't have it. It'll be a shootout. I got Nebraska winning. Then they come back to the house, play Northern Illinois, which, yeah, it's a group of five team, but it's one of the better ones. I got them winning that game, though. Then they go to Illinois. I got them winning that game. A lot of people are saying Lovey Smith is starting to build something in Illinois, and they're coming up, but I don't see it. It's Illinois regardless in my eyes. So I got Nebraska winning that. <clears throat> then they come back to the house to play Ohio State. Ohio State's lost a lot. Nebraska last year lost by, what, one point to them. And this could be a good game, maybe be a shootout. You know, Ohio State's defense has a lot of question marks on it, but like I tell people all the time, it's Ohio State. You know, they lose talent, but they keep bringing talent in every year. So... I got Ohio State winning this game. Maybe it'll be a close game, but I still got Ohio State winning it. Then they're going to be playing Northwestern, which was a good game last year. Northwestern won the division in the Big Ten. But Hunter Johnson, I don't know how he'll do. He might do nice. I mean, I believe he'll be okay. I don't know if he'll be a top-tier quarterback, but... I got this being a good game. I got Nebraska winning this game. And then they go on the road to play Minnesota, the Golden Gophers. I like P.J. Fleck. I don't really think he'll be able to make Minnesota a good team. He's a great coach, though. But I got Nebraska winning this game. Then they go on a bye week and come back to the house, play Indiana. They should definitely be able to beat Indiana. There shouldn't be no problems with that at all. Then they go on the road to play Purdue. I'm not high on Purdue like a lot of people are. I don't care that they went six and six and blew out Ohio State. They still went six and six and it's still Purdue. They got a good, wide, well, great wide receiver actually, Rondell Moore, but it'll be a shootout. I feel like Nebraska will win. Nebraska's offense, I feel like it's gonna take a giant leap in Scott Frost's second year. So I got Nebraska winning that. And then come back to the house off of a bye play Wisconsin this is really this game right here will really decide on how the season will end for Nebraska if they win this game they can go on to win win out and win the division I don't have them winning I got them losing to Wisconsin then after that game they go on the road <clears throat> to play Maryland which Maryland is going to be a I keep saying it they're going to be very competitive this year one of the best running backs in the Big Ten. They got Josh Jackson from Virginia Tech. 
They got the they got the uh what was it, offensive coordinator from Bama last season who's gonna make great moves in Maryland. I don't know how far he'll take Maryland, but I feel like Maryland's gonna be competitive. And on the road, I feel like Nebraska will lose this game. I got Maryland winning. Then to finish the season off, they'll be at the house against Iowa. They almost beat Iowa last year. <clears throat> Fell short. Iowa's a strong team in the Big Ten. They're very consistent with what they do. They're never a contender or anything like that, but everyone knows what you're getting out of Iowa. Good, hard, physical football. And Nebraska's defense is just, I feel like their defense is going to be the biggest downfall for them. It's very weak, and there's only so much an offense can do for you, especially when you play a team like Iowa, who plays defense every year. I got Iowa winning that game. So I got Nebraska going eight and four throughout the season. Worst case scenario, they can go seven and five. Best eight, best case scenario, I'd say ten and two, eleven and one, and possibly a, a Big Ten championship uh, game. But my prediction is they go eight and four under Scott Frost's second year, and they continue to build off of that. I'm worried, Nebraska fans. Scott Frost is definitely going to get. <clears throat> you guys on a competitive level but make sure y'all hit that like subscribe button we got jumping back to the pac 12 now after this video and then we'll move on to the acc support